About a year ago, I uploaded a video talking about how to make gradient fills in Adobe Express. And no, it's not outdated, but I found a much better way to do it. And it's gonna apply for shapes, design assets, and much more. So buckle up, we're gonna show you this crazy life hack. So here we are in Adobe Express and to create this gradient fill the first thing we're going to do is to make our background black so once our background is black that's good because the next thing we're going to do is to add our text or whatever we want so I'm going to just add some text and yeah just design your text however you like change your font change your color actually don't change your color because we're applying a gradient so keep it white pure white and yeah i'm just gonna go with this font because i really like this font and we're just gonna give it the text gradient let me just close this pop-up and yeah if we just make this bigger that's looking nice and yeah we're also going to add a shape in here to give it some more uniqueness so yeah we're just going to add a square i guess i will also add this like star i guess and yeah make sure these are all white because it will not work with any other color so yep and if you don't know how to like change design asset colors to pure white so say you want um i don't know this this tree if you want that to be purely white you can go to filters and to duo tone and just set the two values to white okay now with all our shapes here we're just gonna arrange them nicely into like the positions we want them and yeah that's basically it for the first step now we're gonna find our gradient either from the background tab design assets tab or you can just import your custom gradient from Adobe Illustrator or from anywhere else we're just gonna do it in the backgrounds tab and yes we are just gonna search gradient and it'll just come up with a bunch of gradients for us and yes we're gonna just pick a random one and I'm really liking this gradient it's like rainbowish feel like it'll go really nicely so when we click on it it'll just apply directly to our background we do not want this so we're gonna turn off this button which is add to background so if we toggle this we can move this freely and now we're gonna make sure this shape covers the whole canvas and yes you can just drag around to make sure it fits the whole canvas once you have done that make sure your gradient layer is at the very top otherwise this will not work so you will know when this works or when your gradient layer is on the top when you can't see any of other any other of your assets so yeah now like this we're gonna click the drop down panel from the blending options and click multiply and wow that looks amazing so yes that's one single gradient applied to all objects but you're like I want to change the position of the gradient for each object well you don't need to be scared you can just click this back to normal and you can just resize this so it only covers one object at a time and just click multiply and it still works and I'm on Windows so when I press ctrl D it'll duplicate it so you'll get another one and then you can just make this larger and you'll have a different angle I guess and you can use the crop option to make it um, a bit different I guess a bit shorter so it can fit the text so yep like this gradient we're just gonna do this and yes that works and we're gonna keep doing that with the other shapes and that's very easy so we're just gonna do this and yep and we're just gonna rotate this a bit and just drag like this that works and yep that also works and we can just rotate this as well to get a different angle and yes and if it does go off obviously you can use the crop and then just 
adjust it like so and yes that looks really cool gradient fills and if you do want to export these as transparent yeah, objects you can just download as PNG however do not download as transparent background because the shape will still be there and it'll just look ugly so you're gonna have to remove the background the black in another app or if Adobe Express background remover is smart enough to remove the black from the image. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video on how to do gradient fills in Adobe Express. And yep, yeah, if you did find it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe as I'll be very much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.